Where did you shoot this? Georgia. And uh, how long ago did you finish? Not that long ago. When was weeks? it? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. Yeah, it was all very fast. Yeah. yeah. We knew that going in, that we were going to be here right after we were done, and there was being released very quickly, so that was the exciting part, too. Not a lot of lead time. It's a slow burn. I mean, I'm only through two episodes, forgive me. Mm -hmm. But it takes a while for the horror to come, yes. right? Sure does. Yeah, I mean, when I read these scripts, uh, that was kind of my favorite part about it. Um, I've known Ian McCulloch of his writing for a long time now, and then when I read these, I, I knew he, his thing isn't really the horror genre. So when I read it, I knew there was going to be a very character-based slow burn, and I was really excited when I read it. All that character stuff takes a while to get going, but then when it does, it's just more meaningful when the horror or the elements, the genre elements, sort of kick in. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's the exciting part, that we don't sort of, you know, jump in there right away, we let it breathe, and then by the end, I think the audience is really going to be blown away, not only with the genre elements, but just how emotional the show gets, so it's pretty exciting that way, I think. And did you both read the book? I try. It, the book, uh, loosely based on this, this show, but we were told that... Uh, it, it, they have some characters in there, but it's mainly not really too much on the book. Yeah, I didn't. No. Yeah, I stopped in the middle of it when I found out. <laughs> I didn't even try. the series Yes, I would say yes. Yeah. And is there something that happens in, the, in those first few episodes that you really can't wait for the audience to see in your like, just a moment? Yeah, I mean, I think when, you know, that's a slow burn, it is a slow burn, as you said, about the first couple episodes take a while to get there, but I really think early on in that second episode there's something that happens that's sort of the genre elements come into play that was really exciting, which is sort of the big reveal of the show, so I don't really want to get too into what that is exactly. But there is something that happens, yeah, towards the second episode. The second episode. The, the yeah. scene we shot a bunch of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three or four times at night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I would say towards the, the end of the second episode. And how did you both get involved in the project? Uh, I came on, um, I had a meeting with Ian. Ian and Evan, we talked about the character and the, what they were talking, what they were going to do with uh, with the script and stuff. And it's very you know, kind of early stages, so I did, all I got to read was a few of them at the time. And uh, I just liked the way uh, Ian and uh, Evan, the vibe they had, and, and the, the story they were going to tell. That's how I got attached. I've been working with Ian on something else for a long time. I'd read his first first TV script that came about and it kind of became a hot script around town. It never got made. So then when I had a chance to do something else with him, I kind of was working with him on another film script that never happened. So when I heard he had a, he's, he was doing a TV show, I called my agent and got them to sneak it to me. And I read three scripts and then I called him and sort of begged him for the job for a couple of months. And I broke him down and eventually gave it to <laughs> you also became a father during the pandemic. Congratulations. Thank you. How has your daughter inspired the way that you approach this character particularly? Well, it's, it's funny because, yeah, I've played fathers for a long time now. And then uh, post having a kid, it changes everything. So, how I. It just naturally sort of instinctually infuses when you actually go to play a father. And this show, again, like I said earlier, is super emotional for various reasons. And the kids play a huge part in that. But that just gets in there in a way you don't have to work as hard to, you know, before I was kind of putting on a suit of a dad, really. And I'm sure you feel the same way a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it, it's totally different post, uh, post having a kid than pre, you know what I mean? I was going to ask about the horror, because um, as the episodes go on, especially the reveal of what happens to the bodies and what's happening in the show is pretty crazy. Like, what was your reaction the first time you saw what happens when you cross the line? Yeah, I mean, that was always going to be the thing, right? Like uh, like with Ian, I was saying, he, he writes such great character. You just don't know what those elements are going to be like, you know what I mean? When when, um, when you get to a set, I was kind of blown away with the practical effects that they were so strong. Um, it wasn't a lot of just blue screen, green screen, whatever have you, and then we fill it in later and you're just looking at a pole or something. It was, you know, very much in your face. And I thought they did a great job yeah. with that, so I was really excited about that. When they had the special effects, it really helped with the character when you're doing the scene. It was pretty gnarly. <laughs> but it was, it was very surprising, and uh, yeah, it just helped out to help uh, create that world. It seems like at the beginning, your marriage is a little off. Yeah. <laughs> so. Are you talking about my real life? <laughs> 
is it? <laughs> yeah, so I obviously that's something we're going to find out later what the hell's going on. Well, yeah, I mean, look, that was, again, something I really liked about it, and it's a challenging thing to start a character where they do. Um, I thought we had eight episodes for me to sort of, quote unquote, win, win the audience back. And I thought that was, you know, I've done a lot of stuff where everything's about, especially on television, where it's making the characters as likable as possible for an audience to really accept sort of one of the male leads of the show. But this was like, no, the audience is going to hate you pretty much, not trust you, know you betrayed your family in this way and that, and you've got to find your way back to the, the audience, get them back through the, the events of the show. So I thought that was kind of cool. We'll see if uh, we'll see if that works out or not. But I think it really did. I think there was a really beautiful arc there for the guy. Now, is there any chance you're going to be doing more episodes of Graves now that Helen is coming? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I never know what's going on over there. I'm kind of the last one to know, to be totally honest with you. So we'll see. I, I, I hope so. It's a good, it's a fun show to work on. Uh, not, yeah. not like, <laughs> um, kind of going into what you were just saying about Teacup. Uh, the audience is really like jumped into this story, kind of in the middle of it. Yes. So it's really gripping for us, but also it leaves a lot of unanswered questions. Um, was there any like discussion with the writers about backstory or anything that you decided about your character to help you portray? It? My favorite thing, I don't know if you want to, yeah, I mean, my favorite thing is. Um, to not, I mean, my favorite directors I've worked with recently have a lot of confidence in the people they hire. So there wasn't a lot of backstory talk. It was, it was, you know, sort of had to jump in there and know what you were doing on your own and bring that to the table. And hopefully that comes through on the lens. But yeah, there wasn't a lot of sitting down and rehearsing and doing all that stuff. That doesn't happen so much. Everything happens so fast. I got this job and I drove to Atlanta and we started shooting like a week <laughs> later. So it was pretty fast. Not a lot of time. But yeah, it is challenging. That's also what I loved about it. Maybe you did too, but I, I love that we weren't, you know, showing the elements of the betrayal or how the marriage fall, fell apart and what was the going on. You're just sort of in it. So the internal things are exploding and then external things are exploding at the same time, which makes for exciting television, I hope. And we have time for one more question. Can I just ask, how, how steeped are you both in the horror genre? Where do you sit in the Oh, uh, not, for, I, I enjoy a good. Uh, scary horror movie from time to time, but it's a genre that I've never really dipped into yet. Uh, but I enjoy it. I enjoy like The Conjuring and uh, Annabelle. Uh, I think The Omen, the 1970 with uh, Gregory Peck is probably my favorite. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, I've done ones that have worked, and I've done some that haven't worked, and this really reminded me tone-wise of the horror movies that I've done that have worked, well, only one, really, that it was on the page. It was director-proof, in a sense. The tone and feel and vibe of the, the piece was on the page, and if you just shot it with any sort of ability whatsoever, that was going to come through. So that was what was exciting about this one, too.